வெல்கம் டு லேர்ன் கொரலேஷன் சீரீஸ் எ சீரீஸ் டெடிக்கேட்டட் ஃபார் பெர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் டெஸ்டர்ஸ் ஹூ வான்ஸ் டு லேர்ன் அபவுட் கொரலேஷன் அண்ட் மோர் ஈச் எபிசோட் ஐ வில் டேக் அ சிம்பிள் வெப் அப்ளிகேஷன் அண்ட் ஐ வில் ஷோ யூ ஹவு டு கொரலேட் அண்ட் வாட்ஸ் அண்டர் த ஹூட் ஸோ இன் திஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் எபிசோட் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு டேக் அ சிம்பிள் வெப் அப்ளிகேஷன் கால்ட் நோட் பின் டாட் சியூ it is a simple note taking application with clean ui and very very light weighted so there is no sign up required to use this note taking application i'll briefly explain how it works so just visit notepin.co and in the home page you could see a simple button with get started and a text box and the okay button so this application will allow you to create notebooks and there is no sign ups required any time you can just log in with the uri whatever you created and start adding the notes so in the text box you can give any unique string for example and click on this tick mark it will create a notebook and upon clicking on this create note you can add a note and click on okay which will create a simple note and whenever if you want to see your note you just visit the uri so now i'm going to show you how to correlate notepin.co like application okay so upon clicking on this get started button if you could see four unique four characters string is generated every time so just refresh and click on get started see again so we want to capture this unique four character string in our test plan so to just show you how it is been generated i'm going to bring up the dev tool just clean up the records here refresh the page okay upon clicking get started button unique string is generated but there is no activity recorded between the client and the server so there are two things this string is generated from the client side or the string is already generated upon loading the home page so there are two possibilities so we will see how to capture this four character string so first thing you have to do is we need to inspect the element so you need to inspect this text box first to see whether the string is generated or not so here you could see there is no string called e a y q here so just a name type a note name or its style right but you can search it using a control f and just give the same string here here you could see uh, in the paragraph tag the string has been located with the class hide so now refresh the page inspect the element now locate the hide tag so now you could see upon loading the page the four character string has been generated already but this get started is a client side activity now if you click on this get started button the same four character string will appear in this text box so i'm i'm going to click on this get started so the same string ndkz has been loaded here so upon clicking on this okay button notebook will be created so this is how the four 
character string is generated in this web application. I have created a simple JMeter test plan where it will capture the four character string and then it will create a notebook accordingly. So this is my first request. I'm just loading the page. Simple uh, get call. And in a second request, I'm going to pass the four character string as a parameter. Again, it's a post call. And in the third request, I'm going to, I have already created in the second request and I'm going to visit that page. So how I captured the four character string. So in the first request that is in the home page, I have extracted the string using regular expression extractor by using the left boundary paragraph tag and class is equal to hide. And the match number is one and the template is one. And if there is no such a and if any, any other others, it will throw this value error in not, not name. In the second request, I have passed the captured string as a post method. And in the third request, I'm going to load, I'm going to visit that notebook. So now I'm going to execute this. So in the first request, in the response data, you can see this P class hide the four digit string, which is O J F Y, which has already been captured by the regular expression extractor. And in the second request, the same string has been passed as a post method. And the third request, I am visiting that particular notebook. So just to clarify, just to validate it, just copy the whole third request URI and go to the browser and paste it here. So this is the notebook which has been created by JMeter tool. So this is how notepin.co correlation stuff works under the hood. So I hope this first series is helpful to you. If you have any other application where you are facing any correlation or any uh, questions on correlation you can just post it in the comments i will try to cover it in the next series thank you have a great day